going on everybody this is jacob viral got an unboxing amplifier video for you today so stay tuned throughout and enjoy the video from soundcube.com the utility series they uh, just launched later last year 2020 uh, definitely a small footprint for the amount of power that it puts out and we're going to go ahead and check it out and dig into it. I'm going to give you my personal review and give you a breakdown of everything. And later in the video, I'll show you some other treats with it. So first off, small package, as you can see, as you already saw in the thumbnail as well. Soundcube, this one is the 1500, 1500 watts RMS amplifier. Let's go ahead and dig right in. Shape your experience. High efficiency, full range amplifier here is what I see at the, on the box as well. Keep in mind that I've never ran this particular amplifier, but uh, later in the video, you'll be able to see kind of more detailed breakdown for that. So they gave you the uh, actual manual or the SoundCube Utility Series comes with a 1500, 3000, 5000, 8000, and 13000 watt RMS amplifiers, uh, full range amplifiers. So whether you want to put it on speakers or subwoofers, that's what they mean by that. At least that's how I view it. Uh, base knob, let's look at that first and then we'll break into everything else. As you can already see, look at the footprint size of this amplifier. Wow, the size of my hand for 1500 watts. So let's first check out the base knob. I know a lot of people that uh, look for base knobs. It's really important because you can be able to dial in and see. Uh, very simple, doesn't have a clipping meter so I can already see that's a downfall. So. Um, but it is a class D level amplifier, so it does control min max and it turns it all the way off, depending on how you run. And of course, you don't have to run a bass knob, but I I personally always do. But missing that clipping light, I don't really like that, but it doesn't matter. It's a budget amplifier, so maybe that might be one less flaw, but depending on who you are, that might not matter to you. But besides that, the bass knob looks sleek. So let's get into the next part. Uh, hardware, of course, they give you the uh, bass knob mount as well as your tools you'll need to dig into the SoundCube 1500. This is the U1 1500, as I mentioned earlier, with all the other different ratings that they, they offer as well. Really well packaged, uh, really small footprint, of course, as well as you can tell that in the shipping range for it, that it isn't gonna get damaged in shipping. So and let's dig in before I open up into the amplifier. Let's look at the back of the box real quick. It gives you a little bit more breakdown of specs for it. So this is the U1 1500 amplifier specifications, single channel, full range, high efficiency. As I mentioned earlier, I guess they tested this amplifier at 14.4 volts. So they're rating that at the 14.4. Uh, some amplifiers rate at 12.6 or 13.8, but this one, 1500 watts RMS at 14.4. Uh, looks like the input voltage does really well between eight to 0.2. So that means that you're able to put a head unit up to that or voltage regulator, etc. Input gauge, so this one I'll break into in a minute. Uh, definitely recognize being a four gauge power in. That's gonna be very interesting. Uh, the eight gauge out speaker wire makes sense, but having a four gauge input for a 1500 watt armist amplifier makes me a little curious there, because I would normally expect at least zero gauge wire for 1200 watts or more, but that depends, you never know. Small package amplifier, it could be a bit more of that, especially seeing how small this is and so how compact that is. You never know, it actually might put that power out, so. All right, and it's a single channel. So this is a mono block, single channel, full range amplifier. So now let's dig into the actual nitty gritty. Everybody wants to see this part of it. So I just literally unboxed this video. I haven't even opened it up or looked into it yet. So giving you my review as I go, never seen this amp before never ran this type of amplifier either. So first off, you can already see here, the uh, it's from 2020, back in October, November timeframe. So very new. Look at the small footprint. I like the footprint is the number one thing I like about this amplifier already, as well as I like the sleek design that it has. And you can see the uh, SoundCube logo as well here. It uh, looks really good and you can see how small that footprint is. The height is a little big, but uh, that's to be expected, of course. And I'm not gonna be voiding the warranty, so you can't actually take the sticker off for this. So, but nice SoundCube logo in really small space. 
So for the 1500 watt RMS, it's very impressive to have that small of an amplifier in a small area. And of course you could put this on uh, boats, ATVs, uh, car audio, pro audio, motorcycles, really anything. With this amount of space required, you're able to mount this pretty much anywhere. So, all right, so going into the wiring. So it looks like zero gauge, but it actually is probably two or four gauge wire. Uh, really big wire rim for the uh, turn on wire. But uh, it's only one input, of course, to be expected as well. Nice heat sink in there as well on the left and right, as you can see here. A really compact budget amplifier. You can tell it isn't going to be top notch quality. I do want to mention that this amplifier is not competition, competition grade, so you don't want to be burping this or running it below one ohm. Uh, it's rated at one ohm impedance, so you can't run it lower than that. I know that said that on the website, and I'll break that down a little farther in a minute after this review. So now we'll go into the inputs. It doesn't have RCA outputs. If you're wanting to run more than one, nothing wrong with that. You just have to have an RCA distribution, but I personally prefer those, but that's nothing wrong if you don't have it. So you have your input here, and then you've got your high and low pass filter. This is very interesting, the high pass, so you can use this for your subwoofer between 15 and 80 hertz. Um, but your low pass being up to 20k hertz, this one, I get questions on this a lot as well, but you actually have... Um, where you can run these on speakers, high super tweeters, and just regular tweeters as well. And it has a full range crossover right there. So that's pretty sweet to where you're able to run this on speakers and tweeters as well as a subwoofer. So I'd be able to actually utilize this on a full range system. But you wouldn't want to wire subwoofers and speakers to this. It's all going to be, uh, you'd have to have more than one amp. So, all right, now your gain, min, max. And I already mentioned earlier your voltage difference there. And then your bass boost, recommend not using, but everybody uses their own preference. The remote connection also has, uh, it doesn't have the clipping indicator on the bass knob, but it does have it here. So that's pretty fascinating to see that they have a power clip, the clip protect here instead, but not on the amplifier. So, and then that goes into the eight gauge input output. So you have your minimum one ohm impedance. So it actually mentions it on the amp. That's pretty cool to see too. Not all amps do that. And don't want to run this below 1 ohm, as well as this is not for burp. So not competition grade. You're able to use it in competition, but you're not going to want to burp it or run it below recommended 1 ohm impedance. So speaker inputs, you got two, but it's a mono block, so you can hook them together. It's all in line together. Nice footprint space, so I dig it. And uh, the amplifier manual I'll go through real quick, and then I'll leave it to it. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe. Let me know y'all uh, what y'all think about this amplifier. If anybody has any experience, feel free to share as well. So gives you all your advanced tips, your pre-installation, the thank you, the power connections, your um, pretty much what kind of fuse line you want to run, as well as a, it's a 12 volt. So you're not going to run 16 volts to this amplifier. Looks like. So I don't have to read the whole manual. Y'all can see that on the SoundCube website as well. And that's it. But uh, SoundCube Utility Series Amplifiers. Very small footprint for the power. Uh, this is the entry level one. So 1500, of course, they also have all the others that I mentioned earlier. It shows on the back if you want to know all of the different ones that they offer right here on the manual. Sorry, 1500, 3000, 5000, 8000, 13000. But I like it. Uh, the only thing I like I mentioned earlier that I don't care for is the bass knob not having a clipping meter as well as you're not able to run this on a burp for the competition grade to run below one ohm. But nothing besides that. Nothing wrong with using this for any pro audio, motorcycle, ATV, um, any kind of system you have to get a little bump. And not just a little bump, but a good bit of bump. Because 1500 watts RMS will give you a good bit more than just a little bump. To push 212s, 215s, you never know depending on what you go with. So soundcube.com, thanks for the uh, providing this product to share with everybody on YouTube. Uh, hit the like button if you have it. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll reach out or others. And uh, thanks for watching. What's going on everybody? This is Jacob Viral ending this video to say thank you for watching my videos. Every single day I have a daily cardio video I upload. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I'll see you tomorrow.